Okay, so uh, today we're gonna have a look at three files. We're gonna go ahead and modify them for the purposes of demoing pure and unpure, pi pure and impure pipes to explain what they actually are. The first file which we are going to process today is search.transactions.pipe.ds. So there isn't much code that was added here. You have a console log pipe transform called. This will be printed out in the browser browser console right here. If you don't know how to call the console, uh, you go here and then you click on developer options and web console. This is on Firefox. It's very similar on Google Chrome as well. I think you can press Control Shift V. Let me just, let me just or Control Shift C. Control Shift C. Yep, there we go. So with Control Shift C, you will call this place, and then you can just click on console. On Google Chrome, I think it's Control Shift I, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, here, let's just go ahead and check. Let me just see if I have Chrome installed. Uh, I do have Chrome installed. Let me just go ahead and show you, just in case. Control-Shift-C, is this gonna pop it? Yep, there we go. So Control-Shift-C is universal for Chrome and Firefox. On Chrome, it's going to be here, but I mean, it doesn't matter. The same output will be printed out or similar enough in any case. Okay, so back to the code. Anyway, pipe, we have added an additional statement here. It says pure, and then this can be either true or false. Now, I will explain this through a demo, what it does and what it means, but for now, you can just type it in and you can also add console log. Next up, we need to go into details.component.ts. And here, there's, let me just go back to the top. There's nothing that you need to do from the top. It's all pretty much the same or the same. And if you go down all the way to the bottom, there are, uh, I have added this part and everything down below. So two methods and one initialization. Well, actually three methods, but one, one of those methods is just initialization. Anyway, here, I just want to make a dummy hard-coded transaction for the sake of the demo in order to be able to demonstrate the difference between pure and impure pipes. Uh, private next ID equals 13. This is just a helper variable to use the next available ID so that the ID, IDs of the dummy transactions would not repeat themselves. And then we have a method here, make transaction. All that this method does is just have a variable inside of it and then an, an array variable inside of it. And then it just uh, basically begins the initialization of the elements. Nothing new, uh, perhaps except for this line here. This is a quick and dirty trick or way to convert ID uh, from int or from number to string. Why? Well, because IDs need to be of type string. And you just you just add, you have an empty string and you add to that empty string this number and that number then becomes a string. Nothing here that is uh, that we haven't done before. You just basically it goes in this order: initialize, iterate and return the initialized uh, array and return this initialized variable and then just go ahead and repeat that process again and again and again for as many times as the method is called. Down below, uh, you have uh, add in array method. Basically, all that this method does is updates the current array of transactions and it adds a new transaction into the existing array. So we're using the push method in order to do that. And you can see make transaction, we're calling this uh, method here. And its return value is being placed into these parentheses here. And then that return value is being pushed into the trans, trans array, which is basically just a list, a list of transactions. And down below, it says add in copy of array. 
So this basically just copies the old array into the new one and update it with the new transactions. Uh, you, the only new thing here is the slice. This is how we are actually, this part, this line is actually in charge of copying, of copying the array. So slice usually has parameters. We have used it before and we have we have placed parameters between the parentheses to specify which portions of array would we like to grab. But in this case where there are no parameters it's just going to go ahead and uh, return the new array which contains all the elements. So it's going to grab the entire array as there are no boundaries. So it's just going to go for the length of the entire array. And uh this is then down below you have an addition to the new array so we're just going to add something to the new array to an ex uh, take it with a grain of salt because i did i did do some improvisation here and then finally uh here we've just added two buttons two buttons nothing special here uh, one is calling add in array method and the other one is calling add in copy of array. And as you can see on the site, uh, you do have two buttons. So new transaction, same array, and then new transaction, new array. So this button will basically just be calling a method which will be updating the current array. And this button will be calling a method which will be uh, making a copy of the array and adding the new elements into that copied array. And in the follow-up tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and go through a short demo that will pretty much clarify uh, the uh, these pipes, hold on, uh, the pure and impure pipes and why are they important, what, is, what does one do and what does the other one do? So this was just a little bit of prep work in order to be able to demonstrate and explain pure and impure pipes.